همت به ولقد همت به وهم بها لولا أروى برهان ربي إن أنت لو تنفع ذلك لنصرف عنه السوء والفحشاء نعم وتنفع الكفر إنه من عبادنا المخلصين إنه من عبادنا المخلصين She is so determined for that job to have strong determination, desire, and wish and will and passion for the commitment of a mistake is a key and basic feature of those who have what? Nafsul Ammar. Nafsul Ammar. That is for all the internal faculties to come into agreement. To agree on the commitment of a sin is one of the key basic features of Nafsal Ammar. Some, from time to time, our mind may be certain about the commitment of something, but our heart may not be certain. It may be in disagreement with our mind, may be in disagreement with our soul, or our soul may be certain wanting to commit a particular sin. It may not be in agreement with our mind, it may not be in agreement with what our desires or our heart. There may be some internal conflict of interest. Over the struggling, leaving Satan outside, pushing us to commit that particular thing. Imam Ghazali says that between us and Allah Azza wa Jal, there are four barriers. Our own soul is a barrier. Our love for this world is a barrier. Satan is what? A barrier. And our social environment is what? A barrier. All these things are barriers or a source of motivation to motivate us to commit that particular sin. Now in privacy, and your soul completely becomes firm and concluded that I am going to commit this thing. And being able to convince what? The mind. And being able to convince what? The soul. And the body is ready to do that one. Then we say, وَلَقَدْ حَمَّتْ بِهِ She was so determined to commit this particular thing. That is how come some of the Mufassim say that no, this cannot be attributed to what Yusuf alayhi salam. And for that matter, the continuation of their recitation, then they say that biha amra abuhana rabbi. And he would have also been determined, inclined towards the commitment of such a thing requested from him from that particular. Had it not been that, he saw the proof. He saw the proof from his Lord. Had it not been that he saw the guidance from his Lord. Had it not been that he saw the license from his Lord. Had it not been that he saw the life of what? His Lord. He would have also gotten what? Inclined to that one. That is those who think that the congruence or coming together of the mind, the soul, and then also the heart to agree on a particular commitment or something, they think that it should never be attributed to Yusuf alayhi salam. And this recitation should continue like that. It should continue what? Like that. But the point we are struggling to mention today is that strong determination for the commitment of a particular sin and strong passion for the commitment of a particular sin in privacy, in privacy, is one of the key attributes and the features of what Nafs al Ammara. Allah Azza wa Jal over here tells us that Yusuf alayhi salam would have also inclined towards her demand and her request and would have also been on with her in the bed. Had it not been because of the lines of Allah, the light of Allah, the guidance of Allah that he saw, had it not been that he saw that one, he would have also gotten tilted to that particular place. What is this particular lines? That Allah Azza wa Jal, looking at other narrations from the Quran, where Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that in Alladina Taqaw Ida Masahu. إن الذين اتقوا إذا مسهم طائف من الشيطان تذكروا فإذا هم مبصرون. Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that as for those who fear Allah Azza wa Jal, when a group of satans from the jinn, from the dwarfs, from the devils, and also from human beings, when they come together to wage a war. In order to tempt those who fear Allah Azza wa Jal, they set their traps. Satan already promised God that once you have given me the emancipation, once you have given me the license to live until the end of the world, then be rest assured that I am going to attack your servants from in front of them. Clearly, 
Then I will go behind them and use different methodologies. Then from their left and from their right, the only place Satan didn't mention is from what? Up of them. Because the mercy of Allah comes from them. He cannot intercept the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. So know that left and right, front and back, down, Satan is going to attack and using different methodologies and different styles and different ways of what? Tempting them. But as for those who fear Allah Azza wa Jal, they remember Allah. In whatever deed that they do, they remember Allah. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that any deed that is started without the name of Allah azza wa jal and in thanks, in gratefulness to Allah azza wa jal becomes a useless what deed. Do we start our deed? Do you take the pen and sign in the name of Allah? In the name of Allah, the man who donated his money, getting to 20 million dollars for the construction of the national mosque, he told me that, look, my father advised me that I should never sign a signature in any business at all without what ablution. I should never do that one. Without ablution. Another one who just passed away recently, a good you know, donor to rest for our construction of our national mosque. In a business agreement that they were seated for agreement, after they finished everything, he said, I'm going to enter into the room perform ablution and come before I will sign. That was the end. They came and met him in subdued form, dead over there. Our businessmen, do we have certain Islamic consciousness in whatever we do? Our parliamentarians, do you ensure that you perform ablution before you enter into parliament? And do you ensure that as you stand up, you stand in the name of Allah? Do you ensure that whatever you do, you keep Allah in your mind? Our teachers, do you ensure that we say Bismillah before you take your pen to write for the students as a mother? Do we ensure that we say Bismillah before we take the spoon or the knife to start cutting to cook? Any food that is cooked with the dhikr Allah definitely can never be equal to the food that is cooked without dhikr Allah. Tempt it and test me and go and do it. Go to any restaurant at all. That has nothing to do with Islam. Go and sit down there and eat. That those who cook, there could be other restaurants that belong to other non-Muslims. But the person over there, if the person is a Muslim and cooks the food with consciousness and dhikr Allah, with a mind, bismillah, with ablution, and starting from beginning to the end, la ilaha illallah. With a, the taste you get from the food and then the strength you get from the food definitely can be channeled toward worship of Allah Azza because there is spiritual energy. Spirit. So those who fear Allah Azza wa Jal, whatever they are going to do, what comes to their mind is dhikr Allah. It's Allah Azza wa Jal. If Allah comes into their mind, then they begin to ask, is this one in accordance to whatever Allah has institutionalized in the Quran or not? Or it's in accordance to the way I want. If we go into the Quran again, Allah Azza wa Jalla in Surah Al Ala Imran tells us, "Waladina ida faalu faishat an awdala muafusahum zakarullah." Waladina ida faalu faishat an awdala muafusahum zakarullah. Then they do what again? Fastaghfaru li bunubihim. A clear guidance from Allah. Wa man yawfiru zunub illa Allah. He only forgives us. Uh huh. As for those who fear Allah Azza, it's only was. Satan, you can get them only and not completely. Not completely. Definitely one of the faculties would have been in disagreement. The mind or the soul or the heart would have been in disagreement. When we commit anything that is bad, most likely it is the soul that has been in agreement. But as for those who fear Allah, the mind will be in disagreement. The heart will be in disagreement. The soul will push and push with the help of Satan to push them. And the Quran says, if even they fall into it, that the, the care they remember Allah Azza wa Jal. First of all, then they ask for forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah assures them, who forgives? 
gives except Allah. Don't look at what other people will say. It is I, Allah, who forgive. So ask the forgiveness from me. Then the Quran continues to say, وَلَمْ يُسِرُّ عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And they don't continue to commit that particular sin when they know. Today I fall into that particular sin. I say, oh, it's the temptation of Satan. I go back again and tomorrow the same bride comes and I take it again and say, it's the temptation of Satan. The next day again I fall, no, 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 no. Somebody who fears Allah Azza wa doesn't make it that way. So I for those who fear Allah Azza wa Jal, is a master whom tie from the shaitan, one group of Satan from different dimensions and different angles, when they attack them and set their trap, they remember Allah, they remember the verses of Allah, they remember the guidance from the Sunnah, the hadith concerning this particular thing for either who Musirun and they get their eyes open. Based on this one, our Mufassirs tell us that the Burhan that Yusuf alayhi salam saw over there were some set of verses in the Quran. Were some set of what? Verses in the Quran that Yusuf alayhi salam saw over there. Some also told us that no, it wasn't some set of verses, but it was rather at the point that he almost got inclined when the lady was seducing him what happened was that she tried to cover some set of idols in her house then this mother is asked her what are you trying to do then she said that I am doing this one. I'm covering the idol so that they don't see us commit that and Yusuf says my lord wherever you are whether beneath the earth on top of the earth in the skies our Lord will see you. So my Lord is not like what? You are idol. So he became more conscientized and more strengthened never to do such a thing and to fight against her, what? her will. And some other people say that no, it was rather the training that the father gave to him. The training that he received from the father that whenever he's going to commit something that is bad, he hears. His mind gets drawn back to where? Up to the age of 12, whatever training the father gave him, he weighs and compares. Was that the way my father advised me? He weighs and compares. And I gave the example of what? A friend who was a driver, traveled from one point to the other point with the other colleagues of what drivers, and always when they go at each other stages, they ensure that they commit for me. They have girlfriends that they have to go in, and they've been forcing him always, but for the advice of the mother. Always when the advice, when the mother advised that my son, be careful with ladies. My son be careful. Till the last day when the mother was going to die. In a hospital far back as Kamale, the mother requested that he should come. So he was struggling to get to that place. Then came. It was something the mother was going to tell him. The last words of the mother was that, My son, be careful with what? Ladies. My son, be careful with ladies. My son, be careful with what? Ladies. So one day he traveled to what Cape Coast with his other friend. And over there, <coughs> almost all of them had what their friend. They struggled the first day to ensure that he also does something. He resisted. One day they pushed a girl onto him and he struggled and this girl was very, like well-trained lady to ensure that she seduced what, him and she succeeded in pushing him into what, a room. He was confused. He didn't know what to do. Then the lady started to what, unclothe him. As soon as she wanted to bring the trousers down, then he said that, look, my friend, I heard clearly a clear voice from behind me telling me the voice of my mom who is dead several years, telling me that my son, be careful with what, ladies. As soon as he heard this one, he started shivering unusually. And the lady also even got scared. Then he told her that I beg you, let him go out and urinate and come. Immediately the lady what, released him, he worries him and he ran away. All his other colleagues gathered and started pouring water on him and jubilating that for today your eyes have been opened. Now you know what? The world. So after five years, I traveled back to such a place and I started looking for what? My friend. When I started going around to look for my friends, wherever I went to, I couldn't meet most of them till I met only one person. And when he saw me, he got up shivering and said, my brother, are you still alive? He said, yes, I am alive. Then he said, wallahi, the lady that we struggled to let her seduce you some time ago, you remember? He said, yes, that lady had HIV and infected all my friends. All of them are, not, are now dead. I'm the only one who is what? Alive. Then that was when he started telling his story to this particular friend. That on that day, 
Alhamdulillah, I didn't touch what the lady. So what kind of advice do we give to our children? Advice and guidance and counseling to children are so important that Allah Azawajal set forth an example in the Quran. Quran chapter 31, verse 12 up to 19, almost about 10 points over them that Luqman alayhi salam consistently will sit the child down and ya bunaya, ya bunaya, my lovely child, my lovely child, my lovely child. <coughs> if you have such a habit, effective communication with your children and always hammer on these spiritual principles with what? Your children. I'm telling you, wherever your child will find himself, the mathematics teacher, the English teacher, the friends, the other people will seduce her, will seduce him, struggle to put her or put him down. But always your child will remember, Ya Buneya, Ya Buneya, Ya Buneya, my dear, my lovely child, my lovely child. We shouldn't train them with canes. We should discipline them without what? Punishment. So that wherever they are, they will remember, just like what the Quran is saying, that this is like Yusuf alayhi salam had and completely saw his father. That was why he didn't commit that particular sin. Some said it was some set of verses. And that is what we are going to stand on. That indeed it was set of verses. Why? Because the Quran tells us that in the Ladina And what the Quran also tells us in Surah Al Imran that either Fa'alu Fa'ishatan Awdala Mu Amfutum Dakarullah. Because they are talking about Dakarullah, remembrance of Allah, then we go by what the other set of scholars are telling us that no, it was set of verses that Yusuf alayhi salam saw on the roofing or saw on the walls. Concerning this particular bad deed that the lady wants her to commit, that was what Yusuf alayhi salam saw, and that was why he ran away. So those set of verses are what we are going to stand on and then continue. <coughs> <coughs>